my Führer. The war is lost. Surrender is our only option. Germany is shrouded in darkness. Nazi zombies walk the earth. You are one of the few remaining living souls in Germany. You have arrived at an abandoned village, en route to Berlin, hoping to find a working vehicle. The World War II Bayer is just literally, what, like 16 hours away, 12 hours away. And for you guys, I'm going to do a top five once, alright? So, I'm going to try and go through this as quickly as I can. I've got five things on this list right here that I want to go through with you guys of the stuff myself and sort of probably near enough everyone else wants to see when the World War II game comes out in November and hopefully we'll see this or most of these in the beta as well. So I'm going to jump straight into it guys. Let's go. So at number five, it's quite straightforward, quite simple, a finished game. Okay, so with Infinite Warfare just come out last year, obviously that game had so much shit missing from it. There were so many things missing. You know, it, it was terrible. It was so poorly done and it was probably the worst Call of Duty titles in that sense of all time, like ever, like of all of Call of Duty history. So with this one, it's very simple. I just want them to finish the game up, like completely leaderboards, combat training or combat records, uh, gun stats, so like your KD and like your kills and deaths with it and accuracy, stuff like that. And also custom slash private games as well. Hopefully they get that shit sorted. I mean, most of it should be done. I've seen with all the little teaser trailers um, with the headquarters and stuff that they've got going, which looks amazing. They've got most of that stuff down. All of it's ready to go. So it looks like it's going to be a good start on this top five list. At number four, guys, it's kind of a... I'd, I'd probably say it's like a 50-50 uh, conversation or, you know, um, debate. Fair supply drops. Now, obviously, ever since Advanced Warfare dropped, uh, supply drops have been a thing, or Advanced Supply Drops, whatever. Um, and, you know, after the last two years, two, three years of having these, they need to be a bit more fair. So, when I'm talking about fair, I mean cosmetics only. Like, only camos, only attachments, um, charms, knows what else. Like, just stuff like that. Like, the stuff that doesn't make you better at the game, like it doesn't give you an advantage with these OP guns that have come out in like Black Ops 3 and Modern Warfare and Infinite Warfare, like there's been way too many of these supply drop guns that people have spent so much money to get and then the other people over here who are grinding and can't get them are then at a disadvantage because they're so fucking good. So hopefully with World War 2 coming out they keep it just to cosmetics. I heard something about them saying that it will just be cosmetics in these supply drops but who knows. Knowing them they will probably change that just because of the fact of money situation and you know supply drops just get them in so much money nowadays. So it will probably change but let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope not. Okay let's just hope not. At number three though guys, we're going to move on to the weapons and more specifically weapon balancing. Now, this has been a huge thing for everyone every year. Everyone wants to know how balanced the weapons are with each other. Everything from the submachine gun classes and the assault rifles and the snipers. We all want to make sure that all the guns are fairly balanced. Unlike Black Ops 3, unlike Infinite Warfare, unlike Modern Warfare where it's literally just two main guns that everyone fucking uses every fucking time. This year I really hope that they push it so that there is a good gun everywhere. Like you can just pick up any sort of gun and it will be good. Like there's nothing outstanding. Now apparently um, some people have said or I've heard on YouTube that there's uh, the STG is meant to be really really fucking good um, For the beta so let's hope that that changes when the game comes out because I really don't want to be seeing SGGs on the kill feed 
every fucking game because that's what everyone uses. Or the PPSH for that matter, because apparently the PPSH is really good as well. Hopefully that doesn't become the outstanding gun, because honestly guys, I can't be dealing with that shit no more, man. I want Modern Warfare 2 days to come back, where you could literally pick up any gun, and you could get a Moab. Like, seriously, it needs to be sorted. With that being said, guys, we're going to move on slightly on from Weapon Balancing. We're going to move on to Weapon Challenges. So this is going to be my number two spot. Obviously, number five being the lowest, number one being the highest priority for me. So, Weapon Challenges, yes. So, like with Infinite Warfare, they've done this really well. I think they've done this really well. So, they, instead of just having everyone try and use Supply Drop... Um, uh, supply drops in general to get these guns they actually allowed people who want to grind the game rather than spend money on it to complete challenges in order to get those guns which I think is a fabulous idea because for me I don't have a lot of money okay I work you know part time I do I need coursework or I used to you know and I do this whatever I don't have time and I don't have the money to be spending on these fucking games every year so I think these, these challenges were amazing they really were um, you know it's just that sort of, you know, you have to work for it rather than just splashing cash. You know, you have to really put your time and effort into it. Just like Destiny, for example. You know, Destiny is the biggest grind game I've ever fucking heard of. And, you know, that's sort of what I'm aiming for here. You know, the grind, it's, it's so much better. It just means the game lasts a bit longer if you think about it because you've just got to spend more time trying to get those guns rather than just wasting money. Um, so, yeah, hopefully they bring that back. But, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. And at the number one spot, guys, you know, it for me, this is a must, must thing. You know, Black Ops was my favourite game of all time. Um, you know, it really was. And the one reason for that was because of party games. Now, for War World War II, I'm so hoping, I am, like, begging here that they bring back the party games. And not just, like, private games where you can make up game modes in your own like lobby of friends i mean like you know wager matches um prop hunt manhunt you know uh, mike myers um one in a chamber sticks and stones you know them sort of things them games were so good back in black ops one especially when it came to the wager matches because you obviously like bet your actual like currency in the game to win i think that was a great idea and i don't understand why it didn't stay but hopefully they bring it back. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Now, I'm just going to do some extra, two extras for you guys. Just some extra things that came to my mind that didn't really make the list for me. Um, the first thing was a Zombies campaign. Now, the reason why this didn't make it was because I was mainly focusing this list on the multiplayer side of things and not the whole game. So, for me, one thing that I'd love to see is a Zombies campaign and something to compare it with properly is Zombie Army Trilogy. If you guys haven't played it, I'm li I've am i literally got it in the background of this video right now of me playing it. And it is a main, oh mate, it is a sweet game. It's so good. It's very old. I won't lie, it's very, very old. But the thing is, it's the storyline on it is so good and it's just filled with a bunch of stuff. And it's zombies at the end of the day. It's fucking crazy. It's scary. The sounds are just creepy. The environment is freaky as well. And the zombies themselves are just like a real step up, bitch. Hello. Um, so yeah, hopefully they might do that. They probably won't, but um, you know, maybe they can try and tie it in with the campaign. I mean, you know, we're going back to World War Two. You know, back when Hitler was a thing, and back when you know Germany were dominating shit for a while. You know, what if they just a absolutely mixed shit up and just made some story mode based, like similar to the Army Army Trilogy? I mean, that would work. I would love that. That would be amazing. <clears throat> but, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Now, another extra thing for me was operators slash specialists involved into the game. Now, technically, we do have that in the divisions. So, you know, this isn't really an extra thing. But I feel like there would be, there should be something more than just what the divisions are. So, you know, the shotgunner, he has, like, fire rounds. Um, I think the submachine gun guy, he has a attached suppressor that you get like for free you don't have to like add that as an attachment sort of thing you know that stuff's wicked don't get me wrong but you know operators from rainbow you know the specialists from infinite warfare and black ops 3 they were really good and they made the game a bit more like you know intense so i'm not saying anything futuristic here like glitch or you know active camo or shit like that 
I'm literally just like basic specialist people. Like, you know, you could have like a guy who's like just a knife only dude, like a maniac player. He's really fast, he has a bit more health than everyone else, and he just goes around and he stabs people. Like, that would be sick. I wouldn't mind that. That would be pretty cool. But, you know, hey ho. That probably won't happen. That was just an extra thing in my mind. But, you know, we'll have to kind of just wait and see how that turns out, you know? Um, so, yeah, that I guess that's it, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed that. I, I figured I'd want to get this out. I've been wanting to do one of these top five things for a long last time. Um, so I'm glad I finally done it. It's just a shame Laxon wasn't here to do it with me. That was the whole plan in the first place. By the way, I'm going to get my face out of here. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you haven't. And if you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And if you did enjoy. And until next time, guys, I'm going to get up out. Make sure you download that beta code for World War II if you haven't already. That shit's coming out. It's very, very soon. And good luck with it, guys. Peace.